Okay, here we go again. So here's your original shirt. You take this, you copy the bodice. So control C, control B to paste it in the back. And it doesn't really matter which one we're working on. Um, you'll see what I mean. Hold the direct selection tool, click on that. Highlight your center point. If you just hover the arrow, you'll see it appear. Okay, so here's a point here, a point here, and there's a point here. But we want to raise this one in the center. Okay, so we're going to move that up. And if we go too high, the um, curve gets weird. So let's just, well, let's move it up to here. And then if we zoom in, you'll see that there's handles on this point. So grab the end of this handle with your white arrow. Just move it up. And then you have to add or grab this handle on this point. Okay, hope you can see that. Just bring that in. And then this one. So I think this point is probably supposed to be curved. This one in the center shouldn't be a sharp uh, point like that. So we're going to convert it. Go to your pen tool, click and hold, go to convert anchor point and just click on it. And click and just start dragging. And it, uh, it will create these other handles. And don't worry about it because all you want to do is just turn it so that it's not, do you see how it's like crisp like that, crisscross like that? That's wrong. So you want it to be more like this, a smooth curve. Okay, and then we can always adjust the curves by bringing them in like this or let go and then adjust it at this point. So then you go back to your direct selection. Do you see this point has a handle here? Um, click on this tool here, direct selection, and then grab this handle, bring it up like that. Okay, and you can just smooth it, smooth it any way you need to. Okay, so it's a little bit better. Then let's make, let's fill this with like a gray or something. So we'll start with black and we'll just change it down to here. Okay. Um, the reason this is showing up is because these dotted lines have a fill. So just remove the fill, just click on none. Same with this one, click on that bottom line, click on none. Okay, so now that's good. Um, then, so you'll notice that this gray front um, just needs to be moved to the back. So we're just gonna, actually we're gonna smooth this out. Sort of like that, okay. Then grab this bodice with your selection tool, click on this, and then arrange send to back. Okay, so it's sort of the inside of the shirt. Now this is where it gets tough. So go to your direct selection tool again, and we're gonna um, make that that seam or whatever you call it. So click on this first one and then control C, control F, and then remove the fill on this one. Okay, so it should be none. And then this is where you wanna make this stroke three points, a three point stroke or like it's, um, that's the width or the, the weight right now is one point, we wanna make it thicker. So we're gonna make it three points and then this is where you expand it. And I think your instructions say something like, um, I don't know, something else, but I just do object expand and then uncheck fill and then say, okay. And you notice that it's a big thick black fill, but we wanna swap the colors. So now it's going to be none for the fill and then black for the stroke. But actually we want a white fill. So here's the default white fill, black stroke, click on that, okay? Now you'll see that it doesn't quite follow, so then you just click on this tool and everything right now is selected, so click on the white first, then click on that point and just move it down. See how you can adjust it? Click on this point, move it up here. Click on this point, move it here. Click on this point, move it there. Okay, then we're gonna go with this one, the one in the back, same thing. So we're just clicking on this back stroke, control C, control F, remove the fill, change the stroke to three points weight, 
object, expand, uncheck the fill because we only want to expand the stroke, then say OK, and then swap it. Or we could just do it here. Click on that. So now it's a white fill and a black stroke. And then if it sticks up, then you just adjust it. You click on this and see how um, this point is sticking up too much. So then you just bring this down because all you're doing is hiding it, you know. And then it looks like this is this other, this is the front, I think, seam. So just adjust that so it's a little bit cleaner, that line. Okay, and then notice too that, um, let's see, this point right here, it really sticks out, it's so sharp. So if you want to, see I'm trying to get rid of this, but I'm having a hard time. It's okay, it's better. Then you go to your stroke, and I think it's here, round join, click on that, and so then it just softens that edge. Okay, so then you go to this side, it's already soft, so it made the whole shape a softer edge. Then this one in the back, click on that. So you notice that I'm clicking right on the stroke. Then I can click on this point and just hide it, you know, good enough. Then this one is the one in the front and we want it to line up here a little bit more. So click on that, bring it down, and just keep adjusting it until it's closer. Okay, then we're gonna zoom out. Okay. It's a mighty low cut shirt there, um, but you can always adjust it. So you can grab this and, you know, move that. It's sort of hard, but um, that gives you an idea. I mean, you did a really good job tracing this and adding the dotted lines. Um, so practice this. Try it. Try it again and resubmit.